Hey everyone, it's Allie with Bold North Frenchies. So I am heading on the road this morning to go visit one of my guardian homes, uh, females, to do an insemination with our boy Fax. And I wanted to show you what my on the road insemination kit looks like. Um, this can also be your at home insemination kit, but I like to have everything organized. And so I'm going to show you what you need. Check it out. Okay, so the first thing you are going to need are syringes. So I have a whole bunch of syringes in here and I'm going to show you why you need them in just a second. But I like buying the 10 mil syringes just off of Amazon. This is what you need. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need are insemination tubes. I like a very particular insemination tube and I'm going to show you why. You get these off of Amazon, you can get a hundred of them for $19 and I like the clear ones, so not the ones with the blue tip. It has a little rubber tip at the top, but why I like them is they are very flexible and a perfect size for a French Bulldog female. So I have my syringe and I have my insemination tube and it fits just perfect, perfect fit. 100 of these for 19 bucks on Amazon. Just put insemination tube in the search bar, you'll see them. So obviously we're going to be bringing Fax with us to do this insemination. So we need something for him, these collection bags. So what we'll do first is we will take some alcohol wipes and clean him and the female off. And then we like these very flexible, very thin collection bags. And what I usually do because French Bulldogs are smaller is I roll it up just like this. Um, but these are really, really handy. You can get a whole bunch of them. I think these are like 100 for 10 bucks on Amazon. And then of course, you're going to need your lube. I like Priority Care Non-Spermicidal Lube, um, and this also can be found on Amazon. Last but not least, you know you need some gloves. So make sure that you are getting the vinyl gloves, the really thin ones, um, I like buying them in size large uh, because they'll fit either Mark or I. Um, they're very stretchy, but make sure that you are fully stocked up on gloves so you're keeping everything sanitized. Still wash your hands prior, then put the gloves on and make sure again, you're cleaning that female and that male off with those alcohol wipes prior to collection and insemination. Okay guys, so there we have it. We're ready to hit the road and go do an insemination, um, a collection and then an insemination. And don't worry, you can do this on your own. It, you don't always have to pay a vet to do this. We actually have an amazing training course coming up April 2nd to 3rd with Master Breeder Academy, where we will teach you how to do a collection, insemination, uh, look at sperm cytology, look how to ship uh, semen, whelping, everything. So message me and I'll send you some information on that if you wanna learn how to do everything yourself because it really is empowering. I always say your males and your females are much more comfortable in the comfort of their own home versus going to a vet office um, and doing these collections and inseminations. This is Allie with Bold North Frenchies. Hopefully you guys like this video. Have a great day.